says we had a vision for this country, country. to stand out among other nations. nations. And then one also talks about national identity. identity. You see, it is the vision that would define the identity of the people. So that the moment we are all hooked on to that, we see ourselves as different from Nigerians, different from Ivorians, different from Americans, different from British and any other group of people. And our psyche, you see, the, the mind controls every human activity. Uh, you, you know, uh, uh, Madison said, the citizens are not angels. They are humans. So you craft the national vision. You whip the citizens in line with the vision. And at the end of the day, they dance according to the music you play. If there is no national vision, you would think that people are lazy. They are not lazy. Mm, that is true. If there is no national mm. vision, you would think that people are indisciplined. You find Ghanaians mm. urinating mm. on our street and you think mm. that, that is who they are. Mm. That mm. is not who they are. It's true. Let the same Ghanaian mm. land at Heathrow Airport mm. in the UK. Mm. Let him land in Washington, D.C. and see whether he will urinate on the street. He won't. Not because he doesn't feel like urinating. Mm. He won't because the system will not allow him to urinate on the street. So when the citizen is not behaving as you want him to behave, you don't tell the citizen he is indisciplined. Mm. You are making him indisciplined. Mm. So it, it comes down to the element of leadership. We don't understand leadership. Mm. You see, one of them was talking about the fact that the leaders should be the servants mm. of the people. Mm. In fact, if you check the meaning of the word minister, mm. The meaning of the word minister means to serve, to as, minister. As they rightly sure. said over here. Yes, here. because they are servants. They are servants. The citizens are superior. Are the superiors. Mm. So you don't eat when the citizens are hungry. Mm. You don't tell the citizens to, to, to pay taxes mm. when you don't pay tax. Mm. We should have leadership of example. In fact, leaders should be seen as parent. Mm. No parent. I had parents who were poor. I had parents who didn't have formal education. Both my mother and my father, uh, m my dad is no more. Mm -hmm. But he died illiterate. Mm -hmm. My mom is over 80 years. She is still illiterate. Mm -hmm. Despite the fact that they didn't have the opportunity of going to school, they made sure mm -hmm. I went to school mm -hmm. so that today mm -hmm. I can do what they couldn't do. Mm -hmm. So they sacrificed. Mm -hmm. They, they couldn't buy cloth. Mm. I always tell my student, mm. maybe our parents are not in nice cloth mm. because of us. Mm. They are not buying cars because of us. Mm. They are not building nice houses mm. because of us. Mm. That is what we call sacrifice. Mm. So if we have leaders who cannot sacrifice for the, for the people, then that is not leadership. That is rulership. In Africa, unfortunately, we don't have leaders. We have rulers. Mm. Because, you see, leaders show the way. Leaders go ahead of the people. Leaders, because of the kind of austere or strict or disciplined life he is living, you, the citizens, cannot mm. choose mm. to live anyhow mm. and do things anyhow. Mm. So, let's get a national vision. Mm -hmm. Let's get a national identity. Mm -hmm. What defines us? Mm -hmm. You see, people think Ghanaians are corrupt. If... I take money from an office mm. and nothing will happen to me. Mm. My friend will do the same thing. The next person will do the same thing. Because you see, every human being is self-centered. Every human being is greedy. That was what Madison was, was talking about. Sorry to say, human beings are just like animals. If you leave them, they will behave anyhow. But when, when there is a focus, they dance according to the music. But I want you to explain this to me. Mm -hmm the leaders being servants yes and the citizens okay. being superior and so sovereigns mm -hmm. i want you to explain in, in, in the benefits of yes. our okay I mean. now the leader is a servant because mm -hmm. he is there to serve mm -hmm. what does a servant do i don't know whether you have had you, you have had an experience of an of a servant 
Not to a all. household. If you haven't, this is how servant behave. Okay. When a servant or a maid wakes up in the morning, mm. he doesn't clean his room first. He cleans his master's or his mistress's room. Ensures that the mistress or the master has had water to take his or her bath. Ensures that his shoes, everything he needs for the day, his food is served on time. Which servant eats before the master? You dare not, isn't it? If this is the kind of mindset our leaders have, you think we'll go through the experiences we are going through? Never. And that is what in advanced countries they do. Once a French president came to Ghana, and you know, the, there was an event at K K N KNUST. And whilst our ministers and our DCs and others came in with convoy, he chose to join the press corps. You know, not, normally the press have a yeah, bus. Yeah, 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 yeah. After the event, he, he, he chose to be on the bus with the journalists because he sees himself as a servant. So if journalists can be in the bus or in a bus, why can't the, pre uh, the, the president, the minister, and the DC or the MC join the bus? Here in Africa, that's why I said we don't have leaders, we have rulers. You see, they, they still have that traditional mindset that a king should be carried in a palanquin. And that is the mentality of the African leader. So when he is in power, he thinks he is there to serve himself and his party and not the citizens. And at the end of the day, the citizens lose. So if you are making the citizens su the superiors, it means that their needs must come first before you, the leader. And if that doesn't happen, then that is not leadership. That is bossiness. That is rulership. That is enslavement. So, so per what you are saying, this happening, the promises that he gives us, we cannot even, we don't know, even the country is worse than how it was. <laughs> and I always ask myself, why was Nana Kufodo forcing himself, pushing her to become a president? Um, and meaning, meanwhile, he knows that, or he doesn't, doesn't, didn't he know that this is what the go governance is? I'm confused when it comes to that. Yeah, um, we, we, th that is why I'm saying that we have a real problem here. It's not about, I normally don't want to even talk about whether it is uh, Rollins, Kufo, mm. uh, Atamels, mm. Mahama, or Nanado. We have leadership crisis in this country. We don't understand leadership. We don't do leadership. We don't understand anything. And that's our problem. Because the citizens must come first. And the nation must come first. And if anything, our party or ethnic and other affiliations come in. Unfortunately, we are not doing that. Now, but I, I, am, I said I am a bit happy. I'm not happy, I'm sad. But I'm a bit happy because I see that there is an element of awakening. And that is possibly coming in the form of fix the country. You see, people, people are beginning to push. Mm -hmm. And they are beginning to push because they see what is happening in other nations and what is happening in our own nation. So difficult to live in Ghana. Yes. And when this happens, when this happens, it means there is a ray of hope that we will, know, we will not continue to sit down and let things happen as they have always been. You see, if we continue to live under this kind of enslavement, I call it enslavement. It's true. And still keep quiet. It's true. Nothing is going to change. So we, we, sh we should have citizen, sh um, a, a citizen activism. When I say citizen activism, we should rise up and demand our pound of flesh from whoever is in power. It doesn't matter whether it is NDC, MPP, whether it is Mr. Mahama, Nanado, Baumia, whoever is in power. Let, you see, when, when they make a promise, let's hold them to the promise. 
Let's demand that justice be done, the right thing be done. It doesn't matter which party is in power. They may brand us as NDC, MPP. I, as a youth leader, have had issue with that tag. When NDC was in power, we were thought of as being MPP surrogate. Now that MPP is in power, they think we are NDC's uh, uh, surrogate. And that, that, that is not the point. Right should be right. If it is um, murder, if under party A, murder was wrong, under party B, murder should, be, should still be wrong. Right should be right, and wrong should be wrong. I pity the youth who are growing up in this country because it's almost like there's nothing wrong or right. What is right or, or what is wrong is, is as our politicians define it to be. So under one government, something can be wrong. Under another government, it is right. Yes. Somebody does A, it is wrong. Person B does the same thing and it is right because he's a politician, he's a pastor, he's a king, he's a lawyer, he's this, he's that. So it's, it, it's almost like we have different laws for different people in this country and that's unfortunate. Before we come to our final question, okay. and my final question will be probably what are you doing to contribute your quota to the development of Ghana? All right. And uh, as of your age, probably, <laughs> yeah, so are you proud of what then? So before we come that to yeah. then your final words to our audience, uh, okay. before you come to Ghana, uh, before you come to that side, yeah. we live in a country where we have uh, two major political parties. Mm -hmm. And we, some of us, we regretted of NDC. And and MPP as well, mm -hmm. but they have their followers. There are people who follow them mm -hmm. in, in the massive uh, yeah. population. Yeah. Then we don't know, we don't know ah, this kind of people, what are they do? Why are they follow them for and those kind of things? Yeah. The same as MPP. Yeah. So we, some of us we say that, ah, is, it, is it going to be easy for this country mm -hmm. to do away with this mm -hmm. kind of poli two political parties yeah. or probably change mm -hmm. the rules and the regulations? Do any better, so that's all they have. That's true. You see, if you are born and you are told this is your mother and your father, you can't change it. Mm. You accept it mm. as it is. Mm. You may complain, but after a point, when you realize things can't change, you accept it, mm. you, you, you accept it as your fate. Mm. And then you live with it. Okay. So I think that citizens should educate themselves more. I will challenge the youth and the citizens of this country to read more. Which will and, be more uh, enlightened. And yeah, that should be your final decision. Yeah. So let's, let's come to... Uh, that is in uh, your contribution to the national development. Yes, um, as a young, I, I am quite old, but I still describe myself mm -hmm. as a young people mm -hmm. because I identify with the youth mm -hmm. of Ghana. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of uh, uh, my contribution, mm -hmm. I have done a lot of work mm -hmm. in education, mm -hmm. uh, possibly over 50,000 to 100,000 young people have gone through my hands. Mm -hmm. Uh, as a teacher mm -hmm. and as a, a head, mm -hmm. I've had a couple of schools, mm -hmm. I've um, done radio shows, TV shows, I've won a couple of awards see, uh, yeah, um, uh, for institutions. Mm -hmm. But this, this was uh, given to me as a person, mm -hmm. so uh, it's in my office. Mm -hmm. But as a person, mm -hmm. I think that we can't all give up on Ghana. Mm. We need to talk. Mm. We need to write. Mm. I write a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a lot of articles on na the, the nation. Mm. In fact, I'm working on a book mm. uh, for the country mm. and a couple of things. Mm. Uh, I think one, one of the best things I can do to help Ghana mm. is to write, mm -hmm. is to critique, mm -hmm is to speak my mind, is to encourage the youth. So we have annual youth conferences where we bring young people together, we bring professors, mm -hmm. uh, business people, and people of high social status to come and speak mm -hmm. into the youth. Because if we want the youth of this country mm -hmm. to be powerful men and women of tomorrow, mm -hmm. we can't just look at them and say they are bad boys, they are this and that. Mm -hmm. What are we putting into them? Mm -hmm. Because what we are putting into them are like seeds they will grow, they will germinate, grow, and then we will have a harvest. Mm. If we are harvesting armed robbery, that's what we are putting into them. Mm. If we are harvesting corruption, mm. that is what we are putting into them. Mm. We left them empty. Mm. 
a nature abhors mm. emptiness. Mm. So if you ask me what I've done, mm. I, I've, I've done my little bit and I'm still doing mm. that because I think the best legacy we can give our youth is mm. education mm. and creating national consciousness mm. so that they can demand better mm. when they know better. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I think we have a lot to tell us uh, sure. to contribute. <laughs> yeah. and Time to time, you probably reach to you to give us more sure. of your in-depth knowledge. Yeah. And the reason why we ask this question is that we see, like, uh, here in Ghana, we see ourselves being useless mm -hmm. if you have not reached that state of mm -hmm. that people will respect you, yeah. having money and those kind of. We see ourselves as useless, so that's why we put on to people that. What are they doing to mm -hmm. contribute their mm -hmm. quota, quota to development of this country, country yeah. in their own small way? way? And some people argue that, oh, they, they, they don't have a number environment, I'm hungry, how can they do this and that? But will you choose to be useless or you will choo you choose to be, be useful? useful? It's two options. Sure. So if probably being useful to the nation and yourself, mm -hmm. you have to do things your, uh, on your small way. Yeah. So that's this question is about. And your final words to our audience. Um, and the, the, to advise them to yeah, be precise. I, I, would, I, I would encourage the Ghanaian youth. They are going through a lot, but they shouldn't give up. Um, normally, for history to be made, some people will have to be sacrificed. And um, our brother, Atejura, who mm -hmm. has been murdered mm -hmm. because of his activism mm -hmm. and all, mm -hmm. all of that, I think some of these things, instead of making us give up, mm -hmm. should even cause us to push for more. Mm -hmm because we have the numbers. Mm -hmm. The teeming youth of this country can do a lot. Mm -hmm. So they should look for creative ways of mm -hmm. survival, mm -hmm. creative ways of contributing their quota mm -hmm. to national development, mm -hmm. creative way of lifting themselves out mm -hmm. of poverty mm -hmm. into prominence and mm -hmm. wealth and prosperity. Mm -hmm. Don't wait for the politician to do anything for mm -hmm. you because in reality, nothing really is going to happen. Mm -hmm. But if we all, like little touches, if we bring them together, it will form a big light. Mm -hmm. But if all of us dip our little touches into water, mm -hmm. nothing, the whole nation will be in total darkness. Mm -hmm. So we should keep pushing. And those behind Fix the Country, whatever, mm -hmm. I see them all as people who are hungry mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. to see things yeah. change. Yes, yes. So don't let us all give up. Mm. And let's also tone down on our NDC, NPPism. Mm. It's not helping the nation. Mm. Because at the end of the day, when they come to power, they come to power to seek their own interests. Mm. What about your interest? Mm. So don't vote based on party colors. Mm. Vote on... Uh, the, the policies that face yeah. you. And the, the credibility, yeah. and, the, and the credibility of the people you, you are voting, voting for. for. And when we vote for them mm -hmm. and they don't do mm -hmm. as we desire, we should fire them. Yeah, yeah. Because we, we hire person. them. We have, if mm -hmm. we have the power mm -hmm. to hire, mm -hmm. we should have the power to fire. Mm -hmm. And when that happens, mm -hmm. I think it will go a long way to help this country. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Ghanaian youth, don't give up. Let's keep fighting. Okay. Yeah. Th thank you. Yeah, so this is Mr. Clement Ajay Safo, the president of uh, Youth Empowerment Summit. So we have come to the final uh, conclusion aspect of our program for the day. My name is Mr. J. Keep watching JTVGH. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube, Facebook. Yeah, goodbye.